Welcome to another episode of Stocks to Watch for exclusive one-on-one discussions with company leaders to help you make informed investment decisions. I'm Ashley Berry, and today we're welcoming Eric Desonia, President and CEO of Nouveau Monde Graphite, currently creating a fully integrated carbon-neutral battery material source in Quebec, Canada, encompassing everything from mining to a node material for lithium-ion battery production. This is a process that really adheres to the utmost of standards, including possessing world-class assets, achieving operational excellence, and establishing long-term binding and bankable offtakes with Tier 1 customers. They are trading on the New York Stock Exchange as NMG and the TSXV as NOU. Welcome, Eric. Thanks for having me, Ashley. It's uh, great to have this conversation with you today. Absolutely. I'm so excited to hear all it is that you do. And starting with your graphite assets, your wholly owned Matawini project stands out as one of the most advanced, fully integrated natural graphite project in North America. Very impressive, I might add. So how do these assets really position you as a potential key supplier to the North American lithium ion battery chain, especially considering China's current dominance in the production of value added to node material? Exactly what we do at NMG is very important for large tier one customers like Panasonic and GM. So what we do with the Matawini project, it's great to have a flake graphite project, but it's even more important to have the transformation asset as well in the Big and Core Industrial Park. So those two together makes the largest and most advanced full vertical, as you rightly pointed out. So what we do now is just uh, making sure we deliver a business strategy that makes sense and provide a solution for this very specific active material that Panasonic needs to have for the Nevada plant, for the Kansas plant, and all the three other big plants they want to build. Same with GM, with all the different plants they want to build. So they are very precise in the product they need, in the quantity they need, in the carbon footprint they need. So what we do at NMG is just building the right product for them in a large quantity. Yeah, and those are some big names. I really want to get into those partnerships a little bit later and the investment opportunities there. Um, but let's go back to really in possessing top tier mineral assets. So I understand that, that Nouveau Monde Graphite is also in the process of transforming a significant portion of its mined graphite at the Bacon Core Anode Materials Plant. And it's my understanding that you've already mitigated risk risks here associated with your overall project. Uh, maybe you could talk to us a little bit about that, talk about maybe the net after the tax value, uh, Canadian dollars, um, based on your latest feasibility study. Absolutely. So uh, for sure we did that. We have three phases. So the phase one is the demonstration phase. That's where we were able to invest north of $125 million in building a first vertical. We've mined 40,000 ton of ore from the Matawini project. We transformed it in 2,000 ton about 2,000 ton of uh, graphite concentrate. Mm -hmm. And we are transforming that, that concentrate into the anode material at the specification that the customer need. So this phase one was very important to make, uh, to make the right product and understand, learn from it, hire the right people, and now building a full feasibility study for the phase two. So now the phase two is the project we are starting construction and we are about Pending project financing in the next few months, we'll be able to resume construction and deliver the product by 2027. And that proje project, we did a feasibility study two years ago that now we are optimizing based on the recent offtake that we have. And indeed, it's a $1.4 billion Canadian CapEx, but we have an NPV just shy of $2 billion. So that's mm -hmm. quite a large project. And we, we will generate like large EBITDA in the near future by in 2027 a few hundred million dollars of EBITDA, about, you know, 400 uh, million CAD of EBITDA will be generated once we are fully ramped up on both projects. So that's quite significant. And uh, based on this, based on the fact that we're pretty much still down on that phase two, we're now starting to invest in the phase three, building something five times the size and having a bigger solution for the big market that is developing in North America. Yeah, as you said, significant numbers, absolutely. And really, when you're talking about 2027, that's only three years away, a lot for investors, potential investors to get excited about. You know, What are the key benefits for an investor uh, that your company has a fully integrated business model from the mine to the production of high value custom item node material ready to use in batteries by your tier one off takers? 
Yes, exactly. This is what they need. They don't they don't need to concentrate out of the mind, but at the same time, they don't need only a transformation asset. I think the full vertical is key to qualify the, the concentrate and the, the quality of the flake matters and the qualification process with them. So they cannot just change the source of the mind. So having the full vertical was key in our offering to them in terms of of the best solution, the best alternative to what they buy currently from China. So to, currently it's 100% coming from China. They need at least one uh, safe alternative. So that's what we provide them. It's a, a full vertical right here in their backyard, carbon neutral, cost resilient. We have a very good cost structure to compete and then right in their backyard. So easy logistics and and uh, you know all the all the great benefits of being close to our customers. So it's it's the best alternative alternative of all for them. So they want to own this. So they are investors. They are really involved in the project. They are sending their technical resources to make sure we deliver in twenty twenty seven this product because they need it. You know they cannot just sw swap the, the the supplier just at the end just prior to boot their own battery plant in the U S. So they need to make sure we deliver. So it's the best partner ever for us as a startup company to, mm -hmm. to build this on the right foot, you know? Absolutely. Maybe you can elaborate even, even more on your partnership. As we talked about earlier, you mentioned big names, Panasonic, GM. You know, let's dive a little bit deeper into that and, and why they're so eager to support your initiatives. Can you maybe provide examples of how they can really help your project be successful over and above the optics? Yes, you're right, because it's pretty unique. It's not something that those <clears throat> large customers are typically doing. It's not something they typically do to invest in earlier stage project to get the product they want. But now they're doing it for a specific reason. As I've mentioned, they need this alternative. So they need to, to come work with us. And it's the best uh, option they have to make sure they have the product they need in North America. So they are investing billions of dollars to make cell factory. They invested recently on the cathode side a lot, you know, on the cathode, that's where you find the lithium, that's where you find the nickel and all the other minerals. But on the anode side, it's 100% coming from China today. It's very controlled by the Chinese economy. And December 1st, uh, both the Chinese government said we don't want to export this product anymore unless you have a, an exemption. So now they're very strict on who's getting this exemption to export the graphite out of China. And at the, at the same time, the U.S. government said we don't want to have a uh, product coming from the full ring entity of concern. And they define it to make it more and more difficult for those suppliers in China to sell in the U.S. So, so for sure, when you invest billions of dollars, in this strategy in North America, and you need to have the vision to on the onshoring as well. So you see GM have a clear vision of onshoring the supply chain, same with Panasonic, they understand if they want to build this large scale, they need to, to make sure the anode material is built in North America, because this, this is one of the main important product. You know, it's an active material that requires years of qualification. And we were fortunate enough to start those years a while ago, so we are well advanced in the process and, and the confidence is very high from them to invest and be involved in, in our project and just get it done, you know. So that's very comforting for our shareholder, for our board, for the management and the CEO I am. So it's great to have partners like that to deliver to our, our friends and shareholder. So Eric, I love the energy. I can feel the excitement on your end. Talk a little bit about sort of, you know, what your reaction was when this was all starting to come to fruition in these big names uh, and, you know, in the North American market and coming to your company, just kind of explain the importance of that and how exciting it was for you and your team. Yeah, and the team for sure, because, you know, when you're developing a mining project is something, developing the full vertical, it's even something more more exciting and more difficult and building like we have now 120 employees with we've, we've invested a lot in building that phase one facility so we built a business model and then you're never sure is it the right business model that these guys will want will want to support so for sure when we see the, the those deals coming to fruition it's like a validation that uh we were not that crazy of developing that project since uh, about 12 years, you know, developing the vertical since the first announcement of Panasonic and Tesla, uh, building the first Giga factory in Nevada. 
we started the exploration in the new world in the nouveau monde to discover this big deposit and brick by brick building and always going forward building this strategy so for sure the excitement was more about okay we were not that wrong it's exactly what they need and they will need it even more so let's build more of this let's do the the horizontal growth now let's build more of this because it's insane the, the demand that they have for North American market. And we're just currently providing them a partial solution to that demand. So we need to build more. And it's clear that you're continuing to build on your success over the years. You've achieved considerable milestones, steadily de-risk projects over time, um, major accomplishments. So now let's talk a little bit about, you know, this stock price, like what it's worth now and and why hasn't it been really fully reflected in, in, in the value? But there's still clearly significant upside potential here, clearly. Yeah, I agree with you. So if you remember, was it early 2021, anything related to EV, uh, to yeah. EV was very following the Tesla lead, everything was easy. Mm -hmm. Even us, we were worth uh, close to a billion for some point. But by no, no, nowhere near we were today. So today we are way more advanced. We're able to finance ourselves a bit more at that time. And now we are way more advanced. But the EV uh, thematic is a bit uh, not, not as sexy as it used to be. We see lithium picking up a little bit with the commodity price of lithium going up. So we see like the real fundamental, the next wave of investors will understand better those fundamentals and will be there to support the right company. And then we don't see much alternative to a very essential product that for sure will be needed in big quantity by, the, by those big names. So eventually it will pay off. I agree with you. We did not have the ride that we, everyone were expecting after, after those kinds of announcements. Mm -hmm. but, but I just see it as a better opportunity to position yourself. If you're in it, in it for the EV transition, you believe it will happen. It's not a Tesla story anymore. It's a, it's a Hyundai story. It's a GM story. It's a Ford story. It's everyone's story. We, you saw last week, Honda in Ontario, they announced $15 billion. And they announced everything, the battery factory, the cattle plant. But guess what? No, I know plant. <laughs> so they still rely <laughs> on a company like us. So everybody is building cattle and the cell factory. And they just let us the all the field for us or the Chinese, the field for the annual supply. So, so it's great opportunity and it's not going anywhere. So I have faith in the companies that invested 12 years now, hundreds of million in making sure we understand the customer needs, the customer qualification period, and, you know, just trust the company that are more advanced because it's not like any other uh, mining project. It is a very advanced product, engineered product. We have now 40 engineers, 10 PhD on graphite. We're probably one of the top graphite oriented uh, company outside of China, you know, in terms of employment, in terms of engineers. So, so it, it is what's needed for, for those large OEM to have a, a start of a solution for this annual side. And I would say, you know, potential investors certainly just heard a very, very important and compelling pitch. Eric Dezonier, president and CEO of Nouveau Monde Graphite, again, trading on the uh, stock exchange as NMG and the TSXB is NOU. Thank you for your time and for sharing your insights here with us on Global Mund Media. We look forward to sharing your story and many more updates in the near future. Thanks again, Eric. Thanks, Ashley, for having me anytime.